Slovakia's roads can be a little bit tough on cars sometimes, and my car seems to have developed a clunk. And here it is again. So I'm going to fix this problem by replacing both control arms, these things here, which I bought for 160 euro. It's actually a pretty straightforward operation. You just need three spanners or socket sizes, 14 mm, 17 mm, and 19 mm. So start by loosening the nuts on the wheels, then jack up the car using axle stands. I also use the jack for some extra support. Then take off the wheels and let's get to it. To replace the control arm there are three bolts to undo. This one, this one, and this one under here. Apply a generous amount of penetrating oil to help loosen the bolts and leave it for 10 minutes while you make a cup of tea. Got a cup of tea. Start with the smaller bolt first. You'll need two 14mm sockets or spanners for this because as you can see, one side is a bolt and the other side is a nut and a washer. So hold one side tight while undoing the other side. Once removed, start on the second bolt which is 17mm. You'll probably need a bit of brute force for this one. Once that's removed, get ready for a challenge by undoing the mighty 19mm bolt. Chances are it will not move easily. If it refuses to budge, one easy solution is to play with fire. What I'm going to do is use a bit of fire to make it a bit more flexible and movable. Obviously safety first, have a fire extinguisher handy, and the parts you don't want to get hot, make sure you cover with a, uh, a nice cold wet rag. See if that's helped. There we go. Easy peasy. With all the bolts removed, knock out the ball joint of the wheel assembly and the control arm will wiggle out. When installing the new control arm, do the big bolt first and work back from there, reversing the process, and don't be scared to use a hammer to make things fit. Then just repeat the process on the other side. And with both control arms out, I finally discovered where all that clunking was coming from. This is the left hand side one. Uh, as you can see, the, the rubber silent block is completely toasted. It's, it's split, as you can see, which it's not supposed to be, obviously. This uh, ball joint's not too bad though, on this one, but the, the rubber mounts are, are on their way out. And this is the passenger side, the right hand side. The, ignore this, this is just, it's been toasted when I used the blowtorch to remove it. Uh, but look at this. It's had it. Ooh. Not only has it had it, it's leaking. Well, it's been a very big job, but mission accomplished. Brand new control arms with new bushes and new ball joints. So let's see what it sounds like on the road. Sounds much better. I hope this video was useful for you and for more details and pictures head to suzukiswift.info